Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and in this video I'm going to check out the drop rates of the progress rewards in mod 22. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you'd like to see more information of videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So um, progress rewards. A couple of things why and uh, especially why am I looking at this uh, first of all, we're going to have the event leaps and bounds soon, uh, which means you earn double progress. So in, during this event, you have a chance to farm this progress twice as fast as you normally could. And there are some very nice rewards there. Now, you might think, wait a minute, in mod 21, you already checked the drop rates, and that's... That's actually true. If we look here, uh, you see the drop rates that I had in uh, mod 21. Um, but things have changed. So if you look at this list, uh, we do see coalescent wards. Uh, we also see preservation wards. Um, the modes are also in here. Um, and the preservation was still in here. But also the um, unbinding tokens are also in here now. So I want to take another look whether these drop rates of the coalescent wards have changed and also to figure out what the drop rates of the um, unbind tokens are because they are in here. Also, we have a little bit of a mess here with the companion upgrade tokens, the trade bars and the mount upgrade tokens uh, because you can get variable amounts. So this is a chance to get one. Um, and this is, of course, an average. You don't get... Uh, uh, one in 69 percent but you get uh, 20 25 and some sometimes something like that with our new tool that i'm still working on it's it's getting there uh, but i'm not completely done yet we're gonna get we're gonna get there soon and then you guys can also make use of it i will be able to see the individual drops of trade bars of mount upgrade tokens and campaign tokens without having to look through each individual drop by hand. Um, so we're gonna have to get a lot better information with a lot less work from me. So that's very important. Um, so let's let's close this. Uh, I have collected, I, I don't even know, uh, I think I have 19 on one character uh, progress rewards and then I've copied about 150. I think we're gonna hit about 3,000 overlevel over rewards, but um, actually the tool will tell us uh, in the end. So um, let me put it on the screen. It's to the left. You can see uh, it has a couple of options added, uh, like merging amounts. Uh, merging amounts means that if you get 75 trade bar tokens and 50, it adds it up to 125. And that is something that we don't want to do. So in this case, I want to disable the merge amounts function. Uh, for copper refinement points and rough AD, you might want to merge it in case you have this dragon and you get rough AD uh, drops. It's Otherwise it gets a little bit of a mess if you get uh, 25 there and 50 there. Uh, same for refinement points, if you get 5,000 there and 2,000 there, you get one time 5,000, one time. That's not nice to get, but... Um, so, I made some options to add that. For this video, we don't want to merge anything. Um, so, we're going to go through it like that. Let me open one and then you can see what will happen in the uh, chat log tracker, the loot tracker. Uh, specifically, is this tab. So, if I click on one you will see that in the loot tracker, you see we got one time five unbind tokens. So immediately we got these unbind tokens. It also says the total drops is one. Total containers is zero, but that's a manual field you have to fill in because sometimes you get multiple things in the back, sometimes you get one. So I, I cannot get that from the chat log, sadly. Um, so if we add open another, and for some reason you cannot click here. It Nothing happens if you click here, you have to click here again. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, if we click on it again, you see we also got one Stone of Health. And then one more, five Unbind Tokens again. Three total drops. If I change this now to three containers, voila, we have percentages as well. Um, but we're not going to do that now because otherwise the three would 
Yeah, it would not update, it would stay at 3, so uh, we're gonna change this number to the total drops at the end. Uh, we also have this here, but this is just a convenience function um, to drop these values, so I can paste them into the back value analyzer. Anyway, a lot of explanation. Um, yeah, let's open 3,000-ish of these of, uh, uh, progression reward boxes. Uh, and of course, we're gonna do that in a time lapse. So let's cue the music. You have just like me. Talk too much with strangers. Get way too serious. Alright, uh, that was all of the drops uh, in this video. Normally, at this point, I will say uh, I'll be back, I will be counting everything, but of course, as you can see to the left, I don't have to do that uh, because my tool has counted everything and it has counted 3018 drops, which means we opened 3018 
uh, very close to the 3000 that I was predicting. Um, Overlap rewards or progress rewards as they are called now. So if we set this to 3018, um, we all of a sudden get all these percentages here and that's the drop rate of uh, these items that we got. Uh, if we look at, let's start with the modes, uh, because that is an interesting one uh, for me, at least. Uh, we see that the primitive modes, we got 196 of them in 3018 drops, which is 5.6%. And then we see something very interesting, in my opinion. Uh, the standard mode, which is the 2% mode, we got uh, 27 or 0.895%. The coalescent mode, we got um, one less than the standard mode. And the improved mode, so the standard mode is 2%, the improved is 5%. We got less than those two, uh, only uh, 17 of them. The coalescent mode, we got more, but the 10% mode, I haven't seen it. So we've got a lot of drops here, but I'm pretty sure that the legendary mode did not drop. It's not in here. All right. Preservation wards is the thing that we got most. Uh, we got 190 of them or 6.3%. Genius gifts a lot. 5,000 at so times seems also to, also to be a very uh, often occurring um, progress reward. Scrolls of life, five companion upgrade tokens. Um, scrolls of mass life, five trial time and trade bars. We got 158 of them. Uh, five up unbind tokens, so the unbind tokens are not very rare. In 5% of the case, you get 5. Uh, in 1.46%, you get 10. And if you're lucky, in about 1% of the times, you get 25. Um, let's also look at the astral diamonds. So these are not rough. Uh, these are normal astral diamonds and it seems that the 20 and 50,000 have approximately the same drop rate and actually the 10,000 they're all in about the same neighborhood it's just the 5,000 that drops a lot more um, mount upgrade token so we had the 10 here it's 25 here and the 5 are up here so those they are spread logically companion upgrade tokens we got 5 there, 10 here, and 25 here for 0.63%. And uh, Runic Bag of Holding, also very nice to get, 0.928%. Um, and then we get to some bit of an issue that I noticed, um, and that is the insignias, for example. So the insignias are something where, where it's very obvious. You can get multiple... Um, qualities of insignias in these um, overlap rewards, the progress rewards. Uh, you can get rare, epic, and legendary as far as I could have seen. Uh, I haven't seen mythic ones, I haven't seen uncommon ones or worse, um, but because the quality is not in the name, um, they're just added up together. So these 12 I mean, I don't know how many legendary insignias are this or epic ones. So that is kind of an issue of this tool. Um, but yeah, it helps me already so much. And you can see I have results very quickly for you guys. Um, so in that case, I still really like this. Um, so yeah, a lot of insignias here, insignia, insignia. We have the cotton, um, we have the stick ponies. I've seen the cotton one but also different ones. Let me see, I don't see it here at the moment. There were also different stick ponies that dropped and they seem to drop pretty often, um, but maybe we'll, we'll find them in a second. Uh, some other mounts, 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 uh, some companions, but yeah, you can get a lot of different companions. You can see it also by the scroll bar. This goes down quite far there's a lot of different companions and mounts that you can get uh, mr gook uh, i saw the uh, cold iron warrior which is here i saw um pretty much everything uh, let me see is there something other that is very interesting mr gook was in here uh, 
I don't seem to find, but yeah, here's all the ones already. So there's a lot of stuff that dropped once in 3000. Uh, so you don't, Wolf of the Wild Hunt? I'm not really sure what this is actually. Um, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Orange Butterfly Swarm. So you can actually get the Butterfly Swarm. I think uh, yeah, the Fancy Stick Pony also in here. What else did we get? That you normally cannot get even. I think the Butterfly Swarms you cannot even get typically. But they added some really nice drops in these progress rewards. Uh, Pseudo Dragon is also in here. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna add these to the bag value analyzer. Um, I'm gonna look what I do with the insignias. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go through all the, I don't know how many tunes I, uh, I used, but uh, a lot to add up all these insignias. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, mark them as no quality or just leave them out. I don't know. Um, that's also that also doesn't seem really nice, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Anyway, um, for the coalescent modes, the drop rate seems to be very much similar to what it used to be. So if we go back to this overview, um, we had the preservation marks, which was about seven points six percent, but I opened a lot less of them. Uh, now we are at uh, actually I need to move this a bit. Um, preservation was 7.64% and uh, now it's 63 uh, Let me see, Genie's Gifts also a bit down, but yeah, I, I'm... of course there is some RNG involved and it's less with this bigger opening. Uh, Scrolls of Life 5.24, which uh, is more accurate it seems. Yeah, trade bars and stuff, as I said, is added up. So uh, it, now we get a bigger, better picture of how much you get and which chance you have to get it. Uh, but the interesting one, the coalescent mode, uh, and I was a little bit worried at the start of this opening. Uh, as you can see here, 0 0.91 and uh, now it's 0 0.861, which is uh, pretty much the same. Uh, at the start, I didn't get any coalescent mode, so I was worried that they really lower the drop rate but it doesn't seem the case um, there's just so many drops that uh, you can just get bad rng for a while um yeah i think uh, i'll leave it at that if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video